So today we're going to do an updated version on the Camp 2 video. I've got a lot of information to add. And uh, there was two camps. One Mount Moshe. The other one was in... Or Mount Moshe. And the other one was in uh, Shiloh. Now, I have a link in the description if you would like to donate so that I can continue giving you this information. We're going to start with uh, number one, uh, Rubain. His stone was an odom, or what some might say, sard sardis or carnelian. If you notice, there was the creation of heaven and earth. There was the building of store cities for Pharaoh, because somebody had to build something for the Pharaoh. Uh, there's rules of offerings, there's a census in the wilderness, the chief and judges, excellency of power, dignity, shall not excel. Part of the uh, first plague on a city will be blood. And obviously, in the south, at Mount Moshe was the the sea of uh, Yom Adam, or Sea of Red. At Shiloh, it was the Yom Mate, the Dead Sea to the south. Now, when you're we're looking at the south, there's three main categories besides Levi, obviously, who's going to be uh, guiding tent operations, or levy would be a proper term as well. Now, if you take a look here, Shimon, number two, like a house, is very, very specific on do not enter to the council of Shimon, and there are instruments of cruelty that lie Within, don't make carved images. That plague was frogs. Now, if you notice, bullfrogs are really fat. If you've noticed that the pita is the stone for Shimon, and obviously pitum we know is fattened, so bullfrogs get really big. When we're talking like biblical scriptures. These are just like, if, you, if you're like looking at a calendar, what co-aligns inside of a calendar or a time frame. Rested, formed man from dust. So that's part of like, you could say the duties. Uh, planted a garden. Put man and wife in the garden. Uh, got a daughter from uh, Levi. And uh, always put the son into the Paro's house. Food offering. First fruits. And encamp by the father's house. Do you have to do these if you're Shimon? No. Do these coincide with something else? Yes. What that else is? Does not need to be discussed. Now, we take a look over here. On the right side, we have God. I'm still working on God. Uh, his stone is Leshem, if I'm not mistaken. And people used to think of... Uh, I have a video. It's called uh, Shem, Shame, and Shamo. Now, people used to say Shame is the name. However, very specifically, you go back in ancient times... The original wording is Shamo. I haven't finished God completely. His stone is turquoise. But we're gonna we're gonna look here at Levi. And part of the scripture is you see that uh the gimel, which is the third letter, obviously means gather. Now uh people say carbuncle. It was a very special carbuncle because it had black, white, and red. 
And obviously, in the beginning, if you're looking in, into the scriptures for guidance, man, woman, and serpent. Moshe meets the flaming bush on his three-day journey. A sacrifice of peace offerings. And you got to notice there's all these rules of offerings. Then you notice over here a food offering of first fruits. And for three, we're going to be looking at the sacrifice of peace offerings, the progeny of Moshe and Aaron. The Bashan shall not pass to Jordan. Lice, which is obviously the third plague. And I think this plague was hail, but let's take a look at number four. Number four, which is one of my favorite colorings, is uh, Yehuda, observe Shabbat, obviously. And of course, don't make carved images, no other before me. And oh, I forget that one. Anyways, so you have a no feck, and then you have a no fake. A wave, and then a no feck, a special stone. And this special stone is actually like this colored, like kind of, kind of like a, 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 the color of a wave in an ocean on a beautiful day. And uh, it's got kind of like a light green, light blue, light dark blue. You had Cain and Hevel and Elohim in, uh, in the garden. Not necessarily like in a garden garden, but like in like a nice place. And uh, Elohim had to confront Cain because Cain got Hevel out and uh, moffeted him. And uh, obviously it correlates to the sin offering. And tent work, gathering of people, milk and wine. These are all deep. I could literally go... And make, I could make you videos on all this with just each one of these topics and how it correlates to Yehuda. And it's basically through a, uh, it's an encryption. And if you don't know, then you don't know. However, if, uh, if you do know all this, then you'll know how all this operates. If you don't know how all this operates, don't worry. I'm just pointing to you and helping you learn. Now, you have Mount Moshe. At Mount Moshe, what did you have? You had the Aish Har, or what some would say, Har Aish. And that is the fire mountain. Bum, 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 fire mountain. Bum, 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 fire mountain came down in the fire on the mountain. On the mountain. If you could imagine... A gigantic flame of orange on a gray mountain, or maybe even a black and gray mountain. And then we got Shiloh over here. And Shiloh is very specific because Shiloh is discussing the the Nahar, or basically, basically the water coming from the mountain. I could agree, it, or the or the shining of the water. So there was supposed to be water to the rising of the sun that would glimmer, and you were supposed to get some guidance from that water. However, that water actually flowing from that mountain ended up in the Dead Sea down here. So we'll take a look at the next lettering and numbering. And you have the hay, the honor of the Avinu. Now these letterings are more recent and biblical. There's more ancient letterings than this. And if you know the ancient Ivory, it'll give you a deeper insight to the operation. So we have Dawn. We have a Sapphire. Now, Sapphire is very special stone. It's a very pretty blue stone. And you want to get that stone if you can. Uh, the descendants of Adam, obviously... And then guilt offerings, 
So very specific with Don on guilt offerings, the purification of camps, the meal offering of jealousies, bitter waters, judging your serp, uh, his people or whatnot, serpent in the way, something like that. Livestock is the uh, curse for Don. Now, but if you don't know how all this operates, don't worry. You're going to take notes on this if you want. And then we got over here, we got, uh, we have, and remember this one's honor the Avinu. A lot of people say honor thy father and mother. No, you, you honor the heavenly father. Well, there's, there's different ways. Like some people did it like this, like that, like that. It depended on the Shamo. So there's just a bunch of different hands for the way people bless. Anyways. You have uh, Nop Tali. Nop Tali, very special individual. And then we have Tir Tzach, Lo Tir Tzach. And obviously, Tir Tzach is like, like moffeting somebody. However, it's a very special word, and people didn't keep using Tir Tzach. They were like, oh, moffet, 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 but people aren't discussing about Tir Tzach. Now you take a look here, and there's a, a, a deer let loose, giving a beautiful saying, Yach Lo. So, Yach Halom. Brown diamond, somewhat like that. Not the Yah. Violence of man, righteous of Doah, built an ark. The fire, the meal offering. The Nazarite vow and the boils. I'm adding more, but there's just the paper is not big enough for me to be able to do a full concept of this.